coverage now and uh, people across the area hunkering down maybe in their ice houses, fish <laughs> houses, uh, because we're under a winter storm warning. Jesse Ritka here with the storm team forecast. Jesse. Yeah, well, the snow is not here just yet, but right now uh, we are watching snow off to the west. The biggest snow of the season upon us. It is off to the west, and yeah, here we snow again as we've got another winter storm warning that is in effect from now until 6 p.m. on Monday. No escaping this snow and no escaping the cold that is to come afterward. Temperatures actually are increasing overnight tonight. Right now it is at six degrees in Milwaukee. You can see plenty of cloud cover there. Five, five degrees in Brown Deer, seven degrees at the moment in Glendale. Notice the next 12 hours. Watch the temperatures increase into the 20s even by 6 a.m. So the good news about the increasing temperatures is that the salt is going to be effective on the roadways. However, I think those plows are going to be certainly doing lots of rounds and they're pre treating and they'll be doing a lot of treating during the event as well. Live look outside in Madison right now. You can see visibilities have been lowered because it is snowing there. Two degrees there with a wind chill of minus 15. Here's a look at Storm 4 Max radar. The heaviest snow band stretching and starting to push into western Wisconsin. They've already seen an inch of snow just in the last hour in La Crosse, and that is that type of snow rate that we're expecting here in southeastern Wisconsin. So just starting to watch that snow enter our western counties. It will become widespread, especially by the time we get to about midnight. So future forecast taking you through things here. Notice at 1 30 in the morning, this darker blue here, that's the most intense snow rate, and that's going to really start to pick up. Again, that's when we're talking an inch, potentially an inch and a half every single hour from about 1 a.m. until about 6 o'clock in the morning. In addition to that, the winds are going to be picking up. We'll be talking blowing snow, so this will be coming down at a diagonal, and that will continue to be piling up and creating a lot of problems on the roadways, especially even at 7 30 in the morning. Those winds are still unrelenting. The snow is still falling. However, as we get into the second half of the morning, the snow will start to taper off and especially into the afternoon. The snow down to the south will really taper off. We'll still be looking at some of that lake enhancement throughout the afternoon on Monday, but notice by about six o'clock. Most of us are just dealing with the blowing snow and that wind from the north that is going to be brutal and that is going to drive wind chills as we get into your Tuesday into the double digits below zero approaching 30 below by Tuesday night. So of course, bitterly dangerously cold temperatures behind this snow, but first the snow is going to drop visibilities basically to almost blizzard like conditions for a short period of time overnight tonight. Not going to be looking at a blizzard warning because the duration of this is going to be relatively short. So it's packing a very quick punch just at a wrong period of time, and especially during the morning commute. That's the worst of things. Things do improve again as we get into the later portion of the day. How much snow are we talking again? By the time you wake up by about five to nine inches possible on the ground storm total generally around nine to 13 inches from Milwaukee up towards Fond du Lac and Sheboygan. I think Milwaukee close to 10 inches south of Milwaukee, more like seven to nine inches and right along the state line about seven inches of snow. And again, and most of that falling overnight tonight with rising temperatures around 10 degrees again climbing to the 20s by morning intense snow that's going to be the worst of it before about six o'clock in the morning we'll hit a high temperature of 27 very early temperatures will be falling throughout the day and again during your monday generally only about one to three inches of additional snow as we get into the afternoon hours but blowing snow is going to be an issue it's going to be that very dry and squeaky snow which means it's going to squeak under your feet if it squeaks under your feet it's going to squeak underneath your tires as well behind it. We'll see some sunshine on Tuesday, but again, bitterly cold wind chills, a high of one degrees and the Arctic air arrives by the time we get to your Wednesday, a high temperature of minus 11. You add in the wind chills. It's going to feel more like 40 to almost 50 degrees below zero on Wednesday. Dangerously cold air ahead for Wednesday. We do climb out of this very quickly, though. Thursday, a high of zero degrees, and by the time we get to Saturday, up to 32. So at least some quick improvement. This is not going to be a long stay for that Arctic air, but it's just going to add this bitter blast behind the snow is going to come that dangerous cold. Here's a look at your weather kid for tomorrow. Nola Powell. She may not even have school tomorrow. 25 again early falling to the teens by the afternoon. Kids will be doing some sledding. At least it won't be cold too cold for them. Yeah. Sounds good. All right. Thanks, Jesse.